In this video, I want to take a look at forces and acceleration. So the main idea behind this video is to take a look at Newton's second law. So what does Newton's second law tell us? Well, it tells us that the force F here is equal to the mass M times the acceleration. Okay, so F is equal to MA. And I can rearrange this here clearly. So I can obtain the acceleration A, and that would be the force F divided by the mass M. So that's F over M. And again, I can rearrange this here to obtain M, the mass. So M here is equal to the force F divided by the acceleration. So F over A, okay? So this is an extremely important result here. So force equal to mass times acceleration. Unbelievably important. Do make sure that you're aware of this and how we can rearrange this to obtain the acceleration and the mass. Now you also need to be aware of the definition here of gravity. So gravity is the force between any object and the Earth. Now that force that acts on an object due to gravity is the weight of the object. And that acts vertically down, okay? So a body that's falling freely under gravity experiences acceleration of g. So g here, and the value we take for g here is 9.8 meters per second per second, okay? Now finally here, using f equals ma, so using f equals ma, And I'm saying the result then that the weight here, W, is going to be equal to mg. In that case, just replacing A here, our acceleration with G, and our force here as the weight. Okay. So that's everything we need here to get started. So now let's take a look at a couple of practice questions. Moving on to the first two questions here then. Unfortunately, you're not going to get any questions quite this easy on an exam. However, it does make good practice and it gets us used to forces and acceleration. So for the first question here, we've got a particle of mass 10 kilograms. This is attached to the end of a light vertical string. We're asked to find W, the weight of the particle. So to answer this question, we need to make use of W is equal to mg here, where m is the mass and g is the value of gravity here. That's going to be 9.8 meters per second per second there. Well, m here for this question would be 10. That's the mass, so m here equal to 10. So in that case then for W here, I need to just replace M and G here with these values. So I'm going to do 10 times 9.8. So 10 times 9.8. And in that case, then what I get here simply is 98. And this is a force here. So this would be 98 Newtons there. Okay. So that's the, the value of W, the weight of the particle. And then for the second question here, we're told an object has a weight of 539 Newtons. We're asked to find m, the mass of the object. Again, we're just using this formula here, um, or this equation. So w is equal to mg. w here is the weight, so that's going to be 539. And that's equal to mg. Well, we're, we're trying to find m here, that we don't know the value of m. So that's m times g. But we do know g. g is 9.8 meters per second per second. So I times that by 9.8. So clearly, if I just want m here, I need to divide both sides now by 9.8. Okay, so m here is equal to 539 divided by 9.8. So you just need to put this into your calculator here. But if you do this correctly, what you should get then is 55. And we're talking about the mass here, so this would be kilograms. So 55 kilograms there. Okay. And there we have it. So that's the solution to the first two questions. Taking a look at one more question here to finish with, what we've been given is a force diagram, and this shows a number of forces acting on a body. Now we're asked to find the value of the acceleration on the body using the force diagram. So where do we begin with a question like this? Well, clearly we're going to need to use F equals MA here. So let's just note that at the top. And then we also need to choose a direction in which we're resolving here. So we either resolve vertically upwards here, or we resolve vertically downwards. And in this case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to resolve vertically upwards. Okay. Now it doesn't matter if you resolve vertically downwards here, but it makes sense to resolve vertically upwards because the sense of direction here from the acceleration is upward, vertically accelerating upwards. Okay. So resolving here, if I'm taking up as positive, then at my force here is 60 newtons. That will be positive. So that's 60. This force here of 5g that's going down, that would be negative. So 60 minus 5g. So that's my force, so that's F, and that's going to be equal to the mass, so that's 5, 
times the acceleration, which is A. So what I need to do now is just solve this here using G equals 9.8. So in that case, I'm going to get 60 minus 5 lots of 9.8 is equal to 5A. So let me just put this into my calculator here, see what I get. So 60 minus 5 lots of 9.8. And that gives me 11. So therefore, what we can see here is 5a is equal to 11. And if I want a here, I just need to divide both sides by 5. So a is equal to 11 divided by 5. And 11 divided by 5 will give me 2.2 there. Okay. That's 2.2. And because we're talking about acceleration here, that's meters per second per second. Okay. So the acceleration on the body here would be 2.2 meters per second per second. And there we have it, so that's our solution to that question. That brings the end of this video on forces and acceleration. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at motion in two dimensions.